Void Gaming. Ooh, what kind of gaming? Ooh, Casino Gaming. Cool, cool. It'll ever show me the chart. That'd be great. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of what I expect. Whoa. It rocketed past. It rocketed past past. Uh, it rocketed. Wow, English is weird. It rocketed past past prices. Try saying that five times fast. Rocketed past past prices. Rocketed past past prices. Rocketed. Rock. Walk, walk. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah. Uh, so rocketed past past prices, and then kind of, kind of flat. I mean, a, a lot of stuff is kind of flat right now. This is a pretty standard looking chart for a company like this in the last year. So I'm not really going to fault it for flattening out. But the question that I have is that can it continue to go up? Oh snap, look at these revenue increases. Look at these um revenue estimate increases. Where do these operate uh hotels? Las Vegas locals, downtown Las Vegas, and Midwest and South. 28 gaming entertainment properties in Nevada, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Really? No New Jersey? I guess they don't have anything in, uh, in wonderful Atlantic City. Atlantic City is all right. Okay. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, ooh, they donated to Louisiana. That's nice. Um, top and, uh... Oh, uh, well, eh, alright, whatever. No, nah, nothing. Uh, Focus into buying a thriving gambling industry. I'm guessing this is one of them, so I don't really gotta read that for more, any more information. Outpacing is consumer discretionary peers this year. Ooh, that's something interesting to know. Not only is it part of a good um, business sector, but, is, but is, is it also doing better than the other companies in that sector? Now that's something, that's something interesting to know. Void Gaming, one of these stocks right now. Quick glance, the company's year-to-date performance in comparison with the rest is one of 261 individual... Wow, 261? Is 261 gambling stocks? Oh, consumer discretionary. All right, never mind. I thought they were talking about gambling specifically. Uh, currently supporting a Zach's rank of strong buy. Past quarters, Zach's consensus estimate. Moved 43.84. Has returned about 43.38. Consumer discretionary sector has returned an average on ew, gross. Better performing in this sector, like to a massive amount. I feel like cons to consumer discretionary though. I feel like that is just like a place where a bunch of stuff gets jumbled in that nobody else knows where to put. What is the actual definition? of consumer discretionary. Term classified for classifying goods and services that are considered non-essential by consumers. That's a ridiculous, that's a very broad classification. That is an extremely broad classification to the point where comparing one stock in there to another stock in there, unless they are in the exact same business, is almost pointless. So, uh, so honestly, I don't know. I mean, I still think it's a good company. It seems like a very good company. I like the earnings, like the, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, charts, charts, not bad either. Uh, sure, it's sideways, but it's at least not going down. But this, this kind of comparison here, this is, this is, this is pointless. This is garbage. Um, went up since last earnings report. Crossroad the 50-day moving average. What this means? Uh, oh, it did. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, might be this. This, uh, well, uh, hmm. Well, 50, it said 50 day, right? Yeah, fit that, yeah, that makes sense. That would be the, that would be pretty, like, right there across. Uh, I mean, I like this. Probably gonna give it a buy. Might be well served, well poised for a surge. I mean, casino stocks are apparently, you know, doing, doing well. Um, what else do I want to see here? Um, let me look at statistics real real quick. Let's see if I can glean anything out of there. Market cap, enterprise value. Uh that's not that those those PEs aren't bad. 
Mm. Uh, wow, that's a, that's a lot of hell by institutions. Dang. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Those are massive revenue increases. Very impressive, and I see no reason for them to stop in the future because people like gambling. Very nice. 